not, this is not how the tent is supposed to look. So why don't we just rescue this out of the tree? And my uh, tent tank seems to be doing a good job. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I have the same problem. Hello everybody, welcome back to Explorations. My name is Rob. We are here on the beautiful Pickerel River. We are doing a weekend canoe trip. And by we, I mean myself and my friend Tim as usual. And for a change, we are already in the boat as opposed to in a car or beside a highway. There's a story behind that, but we're not gonna get into that. Anyhow, we are doing a weekend long trip again, and we are going to a as of yet unknown destination downstream on the Pickerel River out towards Georgian Bay. Um, it's just a weekend trip, so we're not going all the way to Georgian Bay because that is very far. We're probably going to do three or four kilometers today, find a campsite, and then see what we're going to do from there. So yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, it was a beautiful day. It's a little overcast now, as you can see. But hey, it's going to be a great time anyways. So let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> let's go paddling. Yay, paddling. The Pickerel River is a part of French River Provincial Park. The Pickerel is essentially an arm of the larger French River, which drains Lake Nipissing to the east into Georgian Bay to the west. There are hundreds of kilometers of waterways and campsites to explore, making it great for weekend trips or longer adventures. So, it is very windy. And as usual, it's a headwind. <laughs> no other time. Seems to be pretty standard when I'm in a boat. Yeah, I'll see if I can show you here without abandoning Tim, but I think Tim's getting abandoned for a second. Yeah, check it out. It's windy. And it's a nice little narrow river section here. Yeah. Adventure paddling. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can maybe spend the night here if we wanna keep on looking for something more sheltered. We will see. So, decision has been made. We're gonna spend the first night here on this island. It is still crazy windy, but this island is sort of sheltered. I know it probably sounds awful on the GoPro, but it's the best we got here. So yeah, we're gonna set up camp, have some dinner, relax a bit, and plan out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Sounds like a great time. So, slight hiccup with the tent setup. Uh, this is not how the tent is supposed to look. So why don't we just rescue this out of the tree? Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> bit of a problem with this site. If I can get the camera to stand up, I will show you. There we go. So a bit of a problem. 
problem is this. This is a very rocky island, which makes it not super awesome for getting temples in. That's about as far as it goes, which is not going to do anything. So I think we're going to be doing some sort of elaborate rock system to keep this tent from blowing back into the forest. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hopefully not too many more tent rescues are required. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to have to use rocks. Yeah, rocks sounds like a good idea. It's, uh, it's pretty windy on this here island. And my uh, tent takes seems to be doing a good job. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. I have the same problem. No, it's up and down. So I'm taking those rocks. All right. I think I got it sorted out. So, just in time too, because it's looking like we might get some more rain. Other than that nice blue patch over there, which hopefully more of that comes. But anyhow, here's what I finagled. So we got lots of rocks tied to ropes, which go to the spots that the peg should be going to. And it seems to be working out okay. Everything is nice and tight. Um, there's been a few spots where I actually shoved a peg underneath the rock. Right here, this peg is just laying flat this way, but the rock's holding it down. And then over here, I was able to get the actual straps of the fly itself around a rock. And these are decent sized rocks, which I poached from our fire pit, which I will obviously have to fix up later. But, for now, Seems to be working, knock on wood. Time will tell though. If it stays windy like this all night and we get some rain, it could be pretty exciting stuff. So fingers crossed. Let's go see what uh, Tim's up to over here. Building a sail. <laughs> Very nice. Well, be underway pretty early. Oh, yours is good. It's got all tied on the trees. That's perfect. Yeah, nicely done. Good morning, everybody. It was a windy evening and night, and it seems to be followed by a windy morning, as you can probably hear and see. So let's check it out. I think all my tent pegs and rocks held. Let's see what we got. Woo. chilly too. It's like eight degrees out. I think I'm gonna need a sweater. Looks like my makeshift rock pegs held last night. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, everything's where it should be. Perfect. Yeah. Very, very nice morning. So, check this out. I heard this yesterday, but I didn't want to get too close and bug them. But there is a woodpecker nest in this tree here. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. There's a little hole right there. Probably can't tell the camera. Yeah. I don't think they like us being this close.
So we put in here. And we are now here, which is definitely listed as 900 on the map, even though it's listed as six here. So I don't know what's up with that. But uh, yeah, if we could go this way and paddle around in here. That'd be like a 5K or so paddle one way. So just play it by ear though. Just jump in a boat and start paddling and then when we've had enough, turn around. For your dance. Seems pretty rough. So let's paddle straight across to where there is no wind or minimal wind. Yeah? So we've made it to Break Island, called Break Island because we are taking a break after that crazy upwind paddle. Get our snack on, and then we're going that way, which for the first time is going to be downwind, so that's exciting. Break Island. It's been a slice. We're moving pretty good there for a moment. We are still moving. Under no power of our own, so I can't really complain. Yeah. <laughs> Success? Ah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not my dream landing, but it's gonna do. I don't know what my dream landing looks like though. Probably a beach. Something that doesn't crunch when you hit it. Mm -hmm. blue rocks. So having a little apres paddle wine and a nice little sit in the shade. 
I got the winner of our red wine tasting, the color dry red, and I got to compliment that the dry white, which was not in the wine tasting, but maybe in the next one. So stay tuned for that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, the sounds of nature. So it looks like someone has lost their dock. Which is crazy, because it means that this is where the water level was. And that is where it is now. So it kind of goes to show you how much the water levels can fluctuate on these rivers. That's gotta be like three or four feet difference to get this giant dock up here. Pretty wild. You can see even on the, the rocks here, the peak over there. You can see the water lines where the water's hung out for a little bit. Even up here, there's a couple. Make sure I'm actually looking at you. Yeah, water lines here, water line here. And obviously the water's been up here because this dock was here. So hopefully they come and find it because it's a lot of dock. Bacon cooking away. Yeah. Pretty done. We'll eat breakfast and pack up and start to head out. Pretty solid Sunday. All right, everything's packed. One more walk through here. Make sure everything's good. Fancy sign here, make sure we followed all the rules. But yeah, I mean, a little weirdly worded, but good set of rules. Keep your sights clean, make sure your fire's out. Leave it better than you found it. Right, T-Bow? Don't hide stuff under rocks. Don't hide stuff under rocks. <laughs>
All right, everybody, that is it from the Pickerel River. Thank you so much for watching. We had a fantastic time. It was a great weekend. If you enjoyed, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we will see you next time. Last time I was here, this was the highway. It is no longer the highway, it's just a highway. The highway that was. The highway that was.